Uncle Mud here, giving you a view of our new rocket mass heater setup in our double wide trailer outside of Cleveland, Ohio, where we needed a mass bench that wouldn't crush the floor or catch it on fire. And this is working pretty well so far. This is our setup. We'll start over here with these boxes filled with scraps from the hardwood flooring manufacturer down the street. And it takes uh, maybe two of those boxes to heat the house on a really cold night uh, for 24 hours. That uh, would uh, cost me a little less than $100 a year to heat the house with. We have here a Gamera rocket heater that we are testing from Bulgaria. Uh, it looks so far really good. It's got this nice mailbox on the front of it feed tube to drop the wood down into a little adjuster thing on the front so we can run it full out or we can close it and adjust it from nothing to open the glass on the bottom part is really pretty to look in watch the fire with and the little door opens so we can easily clean out the uh, ashes. The exhaust comes out back here and goes into this thermal mass bench we built. There's little sensors under the heater, under the pipe, under the uh, mass to warn us if it gets uh, too hot down there. So far, we haven't gone over about 126 degrees, which is really great for keeping the floor from getting too hot. These barrels are sitting on cast iron legs from an old style uh, barrel stove kit. The pipe comes through the barrels. It's about 18 feet of pipe before it goes up and out of the house. There's a clean out over here, so we can check and make sure we're not getting any ash or creosote buildup in there and clean it out if we are. It also lets us uh, warm up the chimney if we need to, uh, to get a good draft. The uh, pipe is surrounded by cob. This is a cob bench so it gets nice and warm and a long time after the fire has gone out we still have heat in the house from the bench staying warm. It's working very nicely for us. We still have to oil that bench. We're going to uh, seal it with hemp oil. But that's the replacement bench. We used to have one over there, but uh, it wasn't as comfortable to sit on or have a group lay on or pull the table up to. So this is what we did instead. Thanks for joining us. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or support our work and get access to exclusive mud and fire content at patreon.com forward slash uncle mud. Thank you.